Here in this chapter we continue discussing prohibited activities where unification after growth is natural and attempting to impede larger projects is not allowed by county administration, but assisting the body's representative is as well unacceptable. Lecture 10, Article 6. Prohibited activities continued. Let's discuss this concept of home rule further and their hindrance by the county being a prohibited act and why. Aside from the fact that some cities can overpower or out-strategize counties that hadn't for them, when the opportunity presents itself, the county can't or shouldn't attempt to affect or affect cities in any way other than their presence. To collect taxes, function, and enforce state laws where local municipalities hadn't or don't takes a lot of strength and at least a little firepower. So, with the magnitude of some cities the county must somehow at least equal any city due to its subordination to the land in taxation and an unconstitutional belief that states are subordinate to the nation, the county is subordinate to the state and the city is subordinate to the county, when only one is true. The county is subordinate to the state, but the state is sovereign. It functions under certain guidelines in the Constitution of the United States, but it is sovereign. States are the essence of democratic home rule. States claim territories where settlers had yet to properly document their actions and democratically make decisions. It's anarchy until there is order, and the county provides that order where instances fall outside of local jurisdiction or power to enforce. Prohibited from affecting or affecting home rule or its growth, it must ensure others don't as well negatively impact the body of lawful citizens. With expansion after growth uniting for greater projects may not be impeded, those who unite as is natural may not be discriminated against, but no special favor shall be given monetary or otherwise toward candidates benefit as the Shelby County Charter may in no way interfere in the rights of its citizens to incorporate naturally when necessary or not, they may. Seeing democracy as an only consequence of true liberty found in freedom from the previous monarchy from which our Western philosophy derives for the peace and tranquility of all residents of the county uniting is the first step to maintaining and improving our environments. The county thus regulates environments under county jurisdiction so that they will be conducive to residents' growth, but it does not police the residents as it allows for the innately autonomous concept of home rule. Under the U.S. Constitution, the Constitution of Tennessee and the Shelby County Charter residents who unite do so lawfully as we can't assume nor consider citizens uniting for anything other than beneficial and foremost lawful purposes. What comes from that freedom taken to come together for whatever cause is protected with the full force of the American military on behalf of the nation, by way of the state constitution and through agents who enforce county jurisdiction. Citizens uniting to discuss issues which, when addressed will help maintain or improve life for them and in doing so the county as a whole is the furthest thing from criminal. When one is away from home and would do better stopping to sit, observe the environment and watch the world go by hopefully seeing improvements in others they could make in themselves, they might enjoy a hot fish plate for $10. If making 100 fish plates costs $500 or $5 a plate, 100 people congregate and each purchase a fish plate, the collective body will have grossed $1,000 and profited $500. We are McDonald's. With the benefit of congregation obviously, residents can't be blamed for movement, because theoretically all movement is toward the benefit of that $5 profit invested every time one stops, rests, and enjoys the environment fostered regulated by the state through county jurisdiction. Cities add style to the law under which smaller bodies adopt common home rule practice. With those employed in the civil service of the county and other municipalities installed for the maintenance of said incorporated bodies, they may not be removed or discriminated on because of race or other such similar disadvantage. As all paid positions under the county are democratically installed from the mayor to the committee who selects employees who pick up trash off the expressway, not that that isn't a necessary, we are that we were more so than which side is presently perceived, and we age seeing the inevitability and wrinkles of old age that mark less years ahead of us than we have behind. We have got to think more about this nursery as in Plato's Republic naming it after a county where home rule can be implemented most effectively, because home rule is the essence of the fight to preserve and promote liberty. The politician looks at the individual or group and informs them on issues they would affect considering the demographics of the audience to spark the will for home improvement, but in no way investing in ugly pictures. As residents unite and bodies protected under law expand progress must not be discriminated. Prohibited activities also include payment of any kind and or favor from one seeking appointment or promotion to anyone connected to the success or failure of that candidacy. It is a privilege to serve the county toward the greater good of residents where no amount of monetary compensation can compare with doing what's right, fair and just in representatives' best educated and experienced opinion. Money just makes certain colors, shapes and melodies more prevalent in a specific time frame like in movies we fall in love with the hero out of familiarity and convenience. Just because Coca-Cola is more familiar and convenient the county may not provide Coke, but a vendor may. The payment for service is service just as good begets good so having more power than money the county agent values the power more. How could one benefit from buying a retail fish plate for a wholesale price or a congregation from selling fish plates at $5, well below fair market value of $10? Thus, fair market value is all officials expect or want for services rendered and acclamations for a job well done. Being social creatures, we naturally gather to express our freedom of speech which is theoretically always towards legal movements of the body that must not as per home rule be affected or affected. 
campaigns may not be discriminated against because of a representative 